Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator, where we are somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know where we are. Fort Collins. Let's see what we got. All right, so we go to Ranton, New Mexico. Don't really want to go there. Steamboat, Colorado. Well, that'd be kind of interesting. Let's do that. Let's haul some more milk uh, to Steamboat Springs for 8700 bucks. Let's do that. Or do we want to go to Casper? Nah, this looks more more curvy. Let's do that. Let's go there. Yep, we're going to continue. I ain't worried about this. My my good old truck can handle this. We're a trained professional. Something. I don't know I don't know what, but we're a trained professional something. Anyway. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series too. Hopefully, uh it's a it's a new series back uh, back from the dead because it is it has been a while since we really played this and and uh, when I I thought about it I was like you know what let's let's play some American Trucks here it's been a while and and uh, haven't really you know done anything with it so I was like let's just do it you know let's do it to it so I don't know how to back up doubles so we might have to cheat because I don't really want to. You know, screw up the trailer too terribly bad. But anyway, we're gonna be flying down here. Should probably get some fuel. Hey, we got three eighths of a tank. We should be fine. We'll be fine for now, anyway. That guy's in the fast lane, or at least was. So we're just gonna go for her anyway. And he disappeared. So I guess we don't have to worry about it. Speed limit 35. We're already doing 40. You know, if you ever thought that uh, a Ferrari or a Porsche, or a, you know, souped-up Mustang, souped-up Mustang, or a Camaro, or a Charger, Challenger, whatever, you know, if you think them are fun to drive, I never drove one, so, I mean, I don't know how it is, but I drove a semi-bobtail before, and I tell you what, it is, it is amazing how much power these things have, uh, when you're bobtail, anyway, uh, you know, they, they do have a absolute insane amount of power uh, hauling, you know, the whole truck and trailer is 80,000 pounds. So it does have a shit ton of power. But when you're Bobtail, man, you can get 0 to 60 pretty darn fast. And it's crazy. It's it's almost scary how much power you have. Uh, and then, you know, I, I have drove Bobtail a few times here and there. Uh, and uh, I've almost flipped one uh, in Portland. Uh, wasn't used to having nothing on the back end holding your drives down. Going around a corner and felt like I was going to flip. So that was scary uh, as, as all hell. Uh, but it's alright. You know why? Because we made it. That's all that matters. My wife was screaming at me, but you know, that's that's fine too. This guy's loaded apparently in front of us or he don't know what the go pedal is. So he's going to be taking forever. Where are we going? Oh, we got a little bit. We got three miles yet. Uh, apparently we're going to be merging traffic. Come on, red car. Let's go. Oh, of course. And we got a copper stopper there up uh, up ahead of us. So everybody's got to, you know, be a rubbernecker. All right. Speed limit's 55. Let's go. Hit them rumble strips. Come on. Let's go. Ain't no need to be uh, rubbernecking, especially way out here in the middle of nowhere. So let's just keep on a going. Boy, howdy. What kind of stories I got today? I got all sorts of stories, you know, honestly. Uh, but uh, I can't remember what stories I've said and what stories I haven't said playing this game. I think it's crazy about how many places in this game looks almost exactly identical to the real place. That is uh, what's crazy. The brights isn't that great, but that's fine. I know we spent a pretty penny. How much do we have in debt? Is what I want to know. Is it that button? Yes, it is. Let's go to the bank. That's not what I wanted. Let's go to the bank. Thank you. Holy shiza. So, we have $477,000 left to repay. And we have $9,500 a day. We got some we got some time yet. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Apparently we're going here. 
So I just slammed on the brakes. It's okay. Where are we going? It's not like driving in dirt road. It's fine. Uh, we're going to cut through here because we can. Yeehaw. Um, nice little hay trailer there. That's fine. Don't mind me, bud. You may own the farm, but I'm driving on it. Got my little flags up front. Like I said, this was uh, primarily set up to be a, a heavy haul truck, but uh, I don't really know what happened. And we quit playing the game, and so now we're back. And it, the heavy haul truck is not doing any heavy hauls. I mean, technically, these can be heavy hauls. Why couldn't I... What... Why did I drive all the way around Kilimanjaro when I could just come down this road? GPS. This is why you don't follow GPS. 100%. Dag no. Thank you. We are doing uh, this one. Here, let's see what we can do. I don't want to haul triples because that would be even worse. Uh, Rocky Mountain Double. Sure, let's do that. We could have done this all in one trailer, but what's the fun in that, you know? I've never hauled two trailers or a double. Or triple in real life. Where are they? Right there. So let's just pull around, hit the brakes. Now, because we have no sleeper, we can just. That's cheating, too. Oop. Oh. oh, yeah. I also forgot that, you know, because we have absolutely no trailer or nothing. You gotta love that, uh, you know, um, so because I'm on controller, which, you know, sucks, uh, you can thank my wife for that, uh, but because we're on controller, I, the, the, so you hook up to the trailer and magically you gain more air. Wow, this is realistic as, as all hell. Oh, look at that, nice little setup here. All right, let's do some flashy flash, make sure all the lights are working. Flashy flash, brake lights, yep, oh, everything's working beautifully. Absolutely gorgeous. Gotta love how the trailer is ten times taller than the truck. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I ain't going that way. I'm going this way. Why would I want to drive in all the dirt roads when I can have a nice paved road here? And then imaginary walk. Boom. You know, that that's that's how it would go. See that green light in the left mirror? That's a good sign. That is a good sign. Because if that thing turns yellow at any point in time... Anybody that's all treefer knows that that is a bad sign. <laughs> Green means go. Yellow means no. That means something's fucked up. So that's not great. All right, so where are we going? Uh, we will check that out as soon as we get on the road. There we go. Now the trailer just now finally... Oh, apparently I cut out in front of somebody too. All right, so we're going to Steamboat Springs. We're about 205 miles away. We're 56,477 pounds, which so about 90,000 apparently, uh, 80, 90. Uh, we got 20 hours to get there. We don't have to sleep or nothing, so that's also fantastic. We're supposed to get there at 10:51 uh, today, so we do have some time. We've got about nine hours to get there, so that's that's great. May have to stop and get some fuel. That is not the button I wanted. Neither is that. There we go. So we may have to uh, get that going for us. There we go. Anybody coming? Because we're just going to go. I normally would wait in real life to wait until the oncoming traffic is clear. But it's alright. Eh. It, it's falling pretty good behind us. But anyway. Oh, so here's a story that I can tell you. So we is in Grand Island, Nebraska. If you don't know where that is, it's a very big metropolis in Nebraska. I honestly have no idea how big or small it is. So uh, it's a metropolis. Uh, so we pulled in. Actually, let's let's go back a little bit. So we picked up something. What did we pick up? Uh, Ravina. I don't know if that was the same time or not. But we picked up a freezer load. Uh, and, and we were going, you know, to Denver or something. I don't know. We're, again, long time ago. So we were hauling something, and it was a reefer load. And so it was wintertime because uh, we were going east. Or no, we were going west in Nebraska. And I was like, sweet, whatever. You know, is what it is. Well, we were going, and, 
you look up in the sky, and if you've ever been to Nebraska, you can see for flipping miles. And, and miles, I mean by like 200 miles, and it doesn't seem like you go anywhere. It's kind of like Nevada. Uh, anyway, definitely a flyover state if I've ever been to one. And, uh, and yes, I have people that live in Nebraska, and I told them this too, uh, that I know. Uh, but anyway, so we, uh, we went out there, and, and uh, we were driving westbound, and uh, here in Oregon, uh, we had a, uh, what they called the uh, snowmageddon, and where I live, we got 15 inches of snow one year, and everyone was flipping out, like the world was going to end. I feel better. Uh, so anybody, uh, you, anyway, uh, you know, the world was going to end, everybody was going to die, so on and so forth. And uh, so we, you know, we were in Grand Island, Nebraska, and the further or the closer we got to Grand Island, Nebraska, I think it was like mile marker 209 or something like that, 179 somewhere in there. And and this is where it gets funny. So the closer we got to the Colorado border, or at least I think it could be Wyoming. I think it's Wyoming. Uh, the closer we got to that border, uh, the closer we got to the storm. And the storm was from Evanston, Wyoming, uh, all the way to, I don't know, probably Omaha, Nebraska, maybe a little bit more west than that, uh, from the Canadian border all the way down to Denver, Colorado. That's how big the storm was. So it was like probably a good thousand miles long, you know, just massive. And they called it the bomb cyclone. And uh, so, you know, the further west we got, the, the sign first said, like, oh, you know, uh, I, uh, I think it was I-80 uh, is closed at uh, mile marker, you know, 79. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that sucks, you know, so we're going to have to find, you know, somewhere to stop. Well, about, you know, 20, 30 miles down the road, it uh, was, oh, well, now it's closed at 105. I was like, okay, well, it's, uh, you know, coming closer. And, uh, like I said, Grand Island, Nebraska is about 209, give or take. And, and we, you know, we'd get about 250, mile marker 250. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, well, now it's at 179. I was like, shit. I mean, this storm was, you know, hauling ass. So we pulled into Grand Island, Nebraska, and we found a spot. There was only like three left in the parking spot or parking lot. So we stopped and. My wife looked on the uh, on her phone, and it said, uh, "Mar marker, uh, like 215 to the borders closed." And I'm like, "Oh shit, we're in it now." And uh, now imagine we're at 209 or somewhere in there, so we are in for the ride. And uh, so we decided to take a shower and whatnot. And uh, we looked at our phones, and they were calling for this storm to be for three days to a week. And I'm like, "Great." And uh, so the the more the time went, the more the storm got worse. And the first night is uh, when my reefer decided to d go from green to die. And so the reefer was not working whatsoever. It just shut off. And I remember it very vividly because I woke up at 1.57 in the morning Pacific Standard Time. Or it could have been 1.57. I think... No, I think my wife ran um, Pacific Time the whole time, and I ran whatever time zone we were in. But either way, it was at 1.57 in the morning. And the reefer, like I said, just died. Well, that's interesting. Why is there parking spots in the middle of the road? Now, that's actually kind of useful. Uh, but anyway, 1.57 in the morning. Reefer died. Boom. Done. It's gone. I was like, fuck. Because I had a freezer load. And why did that guy turn on red? Okay. Uh, so we were, you know, I woke up, and, and then all of a sudden the comp my May Trucking Company started calling me 17 times. Like, hey, you got to get up. You got to get that reefer running. Why is your reefer shut off? Why is this? Why is that? So on and so forth. That is a pretty church. Anyway, you know, so they start freaking out. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Okay. You know, I just got up. I just woke up because it shut off. And this is why truck drivers do not have, you know, it's a 24-hour job. Oh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna find it because we're t 
two inches away from it. That's stupid. Uh, so yeah, so you know they start freaking out and everything else, and, and and so we finally. Oh my goodness! Scared the holy bejesus out of me. That was my timer. Uh, whew, scared me silly. Oh cool, recruitment agency, fantastic. Anywho's, you're back to the story once again. Uh, so I woke up, and you know Hallmark movies lie you know like when the snow's falling you know it's all pretty romantic it's all falling slowly no it was blowing sideways at like size of like baseballs the snowflakes okay it was huge and it was sideways not down it was sideways uh and, and so i finally got the reefer running by myself you know nobody decided to help me from may truck and company it was fantastic because they didn't know what to do and so what they did was their brilliant plan was uh, is uh, to send me to Michigan to get it fixed. And I'm like, no, I'm not leaving my parking spot. And, and so they're like, well, you have to. And I'm like, well, I don't care what the hell you're saying because I'm not leaving. And, and so long story short, holy mackerel, this is going to be a long episode. <laughs> anyway, long story short, uh, it was uh, I, I cleared the, the faults or cleared the alarms, and then it, it came back on. And so they were all happy about it, and everything was fine. Uh, well, then, after that, um, I called my, my driver manager that morning, and I said, I'm going to run out of fuel. Is that Bigfoot? Yes, it is. Uh, I said, I'm going to run out of fuel. And he's like, we'll go get fuel at the island. I was like, no, you don't understand. If I leave my parking spot, I'm not going to get it back. And I was like, can I put my reefer on start-stop? He's like, yeah, you can. I mean, it should be fine. I was like, good, because that's what I'm going to do. You don't really have an option. And, and so I uh, I put on start-stop, and, and everything's all, you know, hunky-dory. And, and But what sucks is, is that it shut off just fine. But when it started uh, to cool down or heat up or, you know, whatever it had to do, uh, what sucks was is that it, it was just absolutely terrible. Um, it would like start and then just die and, and then it would start back up again and then it would run fine and so we had to it just sucked I mean this is plain Jane um, and then so we sat there for three or four days uh, the delivery was already past due but I couldn't move they shut the interstate down and if you guys live in Nebraska or you know wherever uh, you know that I'm not lying. When they shut the interstate down, you're not going anywhere. Oh, great. Do I have to pay a fine? Because this is where I was supposed to go. Commercial trucking is prohibited in this area. Unless you have official business here, you have to turn around and go back. Really? So I'd have to go back, down 25, take 40, and then come through. Or I could just go through. I think it's like $1,500 fine. That's the problem. Um. Well, there's no one here. Hello. <coughs> Bastard, quit honking to me. Uh, yeah, screw it. We're just going to go. Been nice knowing you, bud. I mean, where am I supposed to turn around anyway? Yeah, we'll, we'll tell the cops that, you know. Like, yeah, I couldn't turn around because there was nowhere to turn around at. What would they put it? I mean, it's kind of cool that they put a road in this game that you can't go on. Kind of stupid how we're going to pay a fine right now, but, uh, I mean... Yep, twelve hundred dollars. Ouch. I, eh, I thought it was fifteen, so I guess twelve hundred is not bad. Oh well, we're gonna go. I hate to say that we can't, you know, pull over and, and pass time. That's what I wish you could do in this game. I mean, if you had um, a sleeper, pull over, take a nap, do whatever you want, pass some time, and, and go from there. 
but that it just it doesn't happen in this game. I really wish they would add uh, like a logbook. I wish it was a mod or something that you have to run logbook. That would make this game a hundred times harder because then you couldn't just run continuously. Oh well, if anybody wants to cut in front of me, your mistake, not mine. Oh, that is my bride's. Good lord, it is dark. How many people? Oh, good lord, I'm sorry, people. I am sorry. We already paid the twelve hundred dollar fine, so I ain't gonna stop for you. Oh yeah, everyone's gonna start flashing me because I got my brights on. They don't seem very bright for brights. Apparently, I'm hitting a rumble strip somewhere. That's fine. Fifteen miles an hour. Well, we're pedal to the floor. So what we'll do is, uh, after we've run through this, we will just uh, cut this path off the map so we can't go this way. I had a feeling, um, as soon as we saw that, we'd have to, we couldn't go this way. But I mean, really, there's nowhere, like, you would have to go so many miles out of the way. So we're just going to have to cut it out and not have to worry about it. And of course, you know, I'm going to get yelled at by Mr. Josh Williams. Mr. Williams. Oh, now it's not facing North Atlantic. It's fish, uh, American Dark Simulator. I can already see it now. Oh, well. But anyway, long story short, we got out of there and uh, we, uh, you know, everything was fine. We got out of there. Uh, I told uh, my driver manager that the uh, reefer needed looked at real bad. And he just kind of, okay, well, I'll ride it up. I don't think it ever did. Yeah, go flug yourself. Go flug yourself, bud. All right, let's stay out of their lane, but in their lane at the same time. There we go. That'd be scary. Oh, hey, there's a cop. I'm surprised I didn't get a ticket for that. I'm having my brights on, blinding him. And like I said, it'd probably be a lot better if I had a uh, a uh, a wheel and pedals. That'd be great, you know. That would be great. You have discovered a new waypoint viewpoint. Well, that's cool. It's dark, so I can't see anything. I've already paid a massive fine being here. I'm not gonna turn in and look at it in the dark. I mean, I guess we could sleep, but. We got places to be and people to see. We're gonna show up massively early at this point. Eh, maybe not. We got 128 miles yet. I do want to get rid of that, but this corner is gonna be a doozy. I have a little bit of a Jake break now. Uh, well, I now see why you didn't want semis up here. Okay, I understand. Oh, uh, don't hit my trailer. 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 I don't... Okay. We were over the line. Or in our lane. That's, that's all that matters. Technically. Alright. Let's see. Pick up some speed. Jake break down the hill. Little switchback roo coming up. There you go. We'll just cut the lane. Well, when the jig brake comes on, you don't have brake lights. Interesting. Every truck I've ever drove, every time you put the jig brake on, your brake lights come on. Oh, hello. Nice and easy on the steering sensitivity there. That's why it's so rocky. It's just, I'm barely turning, and it's just like, eh, 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 eh. Very hard to, uh, keep it smooth here. 15 mile an hour corner. Let's take it about 30. Maybe. Okay, never mind. 20 is fine. Man, that's a sharp little booger, isn't it? Oh, there's 45 mile an hour. These trailers behind me is actually following really nicely. And there's just people following. Gotta love it. Nice pitch black view, you know. Looks like we're going back uphill. It's always nice. Turn 
turning right, turning left, turning everywhere you go. All right, what does this say? 35. All right, so we're just going to keep her pinned at 40. Oh, now it's 25. We're just going to keep it pinned because I'm sure we're going to get another ticket. So we're just going to... Just blow past like, haha, bitch. We went through your, your dealio anyway. 40 mile an hour. And we're doing 50, so it's fine. We got delivery to make. We got to make money. What does that say? Grand Lake. Okay. What's so grand about it? Is it actually a grand lake, you know, or is it, you know, like a eh lake? 50 mile an hour. Got a little bit of a tight switchback dealio here. And we'll cut this corner. It's a dotted line. It's fine. They won't mind. I'm guessing the lake is there to the right. Speed plus seven miles an hour, six hundred and eighty dollars. What the speed limit's sixty and I'm doing sixty, you bastard. Maybe it probably just changed. That's what I'm guessing. Is that it just changed? Alright, here's the stop sign coming. Still surprised they didn't get a ticket for uh having my brights on the whole time. Anybody coming? I'm not seeing nobody, so I ain't stopping. Used about an eighth of a tank already. Where are we going? 72 miles, I think it said. If that's even where we're going here. Yeah, 71 miles. Yep, so we're going there. Oh, yeah, going straight back uphill. Got 11. Doesn't really matter how much horsepower or torque you got, you're always going to go slow up the hill, depending. Apparently, my wife's picking up cake. I don't know why the hell she's doing that. Wrong. No, oh, we got a car following us here. Maybe it'll give us a little push up the hill, huh? Speed limit's 60, the corner's 45. We're barely doing 40, so we should be alright. Nope. Maybe if we don't flip the truck by turning too sharply. Oh my goodness, come on. Yeah, try to pass me. I'm just going to keep whipping the trailer back and forth. It's fine. You know, in real life, uh, so at work, I drive a box truck uh, that you can remove and, and pick up boxes uh, and then a box trailer, which does the same thing. And it is so much fun because, you know, people will get beside you and just sit there. I mean, it has to be a, a, a semi thing. You know, they don't want to pass you. They just sit there and, and just drive the living hell out of you. And, and so it's like, okay. So then you go and you go, whoop, just a little bit of a whip. Even less than that. And that trailer just goes all over the road. And it is so much fun to do that. Uh, and, and then have the people freak out because they either slow down and get behind you or they speed up and pass you and so it's like if you ride behind like beside me or whatever I'm gonna do that so that you move because I don't like when people do that it is so easily uh, so easy to uh, you know um, if, if one of them tires blows and it goes through your windshield if it hits you you're dead you know, and I absolutely hate when people do it. So I try to do, you know, not crazily, but whatever I can uh, so they get out of the way. <clears throat> it, it, so, you know, so, I mean, I may seem like an asshole, but at least you're going to be safe if a tire blows. Okay, so that's my my uh, my reasoning for it. Here, I'll turn my bright... Well, that was kind of close, you jackass. Goodness, ain't no need to be rude, you know. I mean, I'm kind of driving up the middle of the road, but it's fine. I mean, you can't really see anything behind me, so I, I don't know if I'm in the lane or not. Well, you don't gotta cut me off. 
Come on, baby. I'm doing 38 miles an hour. Oh, here. I'll turn on the blinker late so everybody knows I'm getting over, even though it's already over. <clears throat> 50 miles an hour. I'm barely doing 43. We're getting about 4 miles a gallon. Instant is 3.7. That is just fantastic. Got a quarter tank of fuel. I don't know how much or how many gallons I can carry. Runaway truck ramp. Oh, someone's in it. Look at there. Or someone's... No. Is it, was that the runaway truck ramp? I don't think so. I don't know why they would have it at the top. Maybe there's someone sleeping there. Oh, 1,500 feet. So it's gonna be up here. Let's put our brights back on so we can see it. Now, luckily, I've never had to use one. But I have seen people inside of them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there it is. That's kind of a hard one to get over. It's not a very well placed put one. I'll, I'll grant you that. Because you want one basically like right here. Maybe then on the right hand side. Not on a right hand turn. Right hand corner on the right side. Yep. That's where I'm going to put it. No. No. You don't do that. If you got no brakes you're going to be you know flip it, freaking the flipper ducker out is what you're going to be doing. Alright here. Let's turn that off. There we go. Alright. So we're here. I don't know what that said. 45 miles an hour doing about 50. I can't afford any more tickets today. I'm already spent about 1500 or 1700 Alright. I'm going to take a right hand turn here. There we go. To Walbert. kind of funny that we delivered raw milk to a refinery but we picked up processed milk at a farm that doesn't much make sense well he wasn't coming until I started going so I'm not gonna stop and wait you can wait you can wait for me for once all right so we're almost here nothing too terribly bad we're gonna need fuel real bad Right hand turn here. Copper stopper, you're gonna go? Oh, good, because I'm just gonna run that yellow. Uh, that's a sign. Yep, I hit it. I thought I was gonna miss it. Alright, another right hand turn. Uh, this one's kind of a nasty one. Yep, I'm gonna hit the. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't hit the flowers. Don't. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me look into this. Uh-oh. 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 This isn't good. Nope. Okay, so I know what we're going to have to do, but I'm not going to like doing it. Um. Okay. So that dollar's all sorts of jacked up. That's, that's, what, we're, that's what we're dealing with here. So we're going to have to pull over until this trailer basically jackknifes the dolly. Oop, come on, baby doll. I think I'm literally going to be stuck. And this, my friends, is why we don't drive doubles. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's all the way underneath the truck. Hey, uh, take your baby uh, away from here, would you? Okay, so what we're going to do here, uh, let's see, what is it, this one? Well, I thought it was. Uh, let's see. This one? One, two, yeah, I thought it was this one. Oh, no, it's... Uh, let's see, what one is it? Uh... I don't know, I can't remember. Interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, F2? No, oh, wasn't that. F3? Nope, 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 nope. Uh, F9? No. F nope, that's a... 
Huh. Anyway, so that's going to do it. I thought there was a way to, to finagle it, but I, I changed my my settings and whatnot, and so I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get out of this little predicament that I got myself in. Uh, so, we might just have to get rid of it, which kind of sucks, because what happened was I just didn't take the corner too sharp enough. And all we're doing is we're just jacking it up even worse is what we're doing here. Come on, put it in gear. And... Yeah, so that's all we're doing. So we're just going to drop the trailer, and uh, we're going to call it a day. Yep, uh, yeah. So we're going to pay a good fine to uh, get rid of that, and uh, so on and so forth. I'm here. Your trailer's back there a little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> Where should I place it? Yeah, I can do anything. No, nope, yep, confirm. Well... I don't want to do this, but the only other option I have is go balls to the wall and hit the dolly. Sorry, truck. Well, that didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, now I'm stuck. And now I killed it? Um, come on. There we go. I honestly don't know if I can get that out. Oh, well, we're just going to call it, and we'll, we'll just call this Mission Failure. Here, we'll get a, we'll get a good, we'll get a good thumbnail for it. There we go, we'll get in the parking, or stoplight, there we go. Beautiful. Can't believe it. We got all the way here. And we're going to lose the money. There, you know what we'll do? Gorgeous. Turn on the little, little flashy dealios. Take a screenshot. There we go. Gorgeous. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. This one we'll just talk up to uh, no bueno. Anyway, guys, if you'd like to watch another episode of me try to get something done... Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll catch you all in the next one. And you all, take care. Really? That's, that's, that's all you got? No. And you all, take care.